Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is another uh, jig made out of the wacky jig, but it's going to be a hair jig. Uh, this is a real quick and easy one, it's called the wacky craw. Um, it's the, getting towards the end of August and fall is right around the corner and the cold water period will be coming so we're going to need some hair jigs. First thing I'm going to do is take this little wire weed guard and I'm just gonna bend it out a little bit to make it easier and then we're gonna start by wrapping our thread which is a black 210 denier flat wax nylon thread and just get a quick base on there to cut my excess off now that I got it started and the color of the jig is green pumpkin because we're gonna use something similar for the claws. Now you see I went all the way down because this type of jig, this is a, a 1 8 ounce with a size 2 hook, a size 2 wacky hook and I took it down right to the barb there just right into the bend. I bring it up. First thing I'm going to do is going to take a little bit of a olive bucktail and I don't want to maybe an inch past the, the bend of the hook let's just see where I got to trim that off And you see I'm leaving enough I'm tying all the way up to here to make sure that that bucktail is locked in because you're not putting a lot of thread on this. Get it nice and tight. Now we got that in. I'm going to take a piece of chenille and this is real bulky green chenille um, you can use whatever kind of chenille you want the reason I'm using this bulky piece here is because uh, I can get by with one or two wraps to make a chenille ball and that's what's going to spread our claws out get the one wrap and there's two that's good enough we'll tie it off and trim the excess careful not to trim your thread Make sure that's nice and secure. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of flash. This is a half of a full length piece. And what I do is I fold it in half. and I'll take my scissors and I'll push down on it just to create so I get a crease and the reason I do that you see that little uh, V area create it I want this uh, pretty much in the center and instead of trying to figure out where center is 
All I got to do is just lay that V in there. And I have it. So now I'm going to tie it in that it's laying down. And if you see what I did, is I tied it from the top here and I actually pulled it down underneath that I got some wraps on it because I want to keep it on this side of the hook the opposite side of what we're tying on okay so now I'm gonna take my chenille this is called J Fair large shuck it's a chenille, but it's got these large fibers on it. And I'm going to do the same thing I do to every uh, piece of chenille to tie it in. I'm going to knock some of these ends off of here to expose that little tiny piece of thread. You can barely see it. Now I have that tied in and it's time for my claws. I cut these rabbit strips. The claws, the length of the claws is going to be totally up to you. Um, I like mine, I actually like them pretty big because they, when they get wet, uh, the hair will compress a little bit and I like to have it that it trails pretty much. Gives a little bit of some really nice movement in the water because you're not going to be uh, really actively moving this a lot. It's going to be more of a, a dead stick type presentation. So there's one side tied in. Now I'm going to flip this just to make sure I got everything situated where I want it. Now I'm going to start tying. And I want to try to keep this uh, shuck out of the way. That's going to get tied in later. It's going to get wrapped up above. Now my claws are tied in. I'm going to take two small pieces about an inch of a uh, silicone material and the way I'm going to do this, since we want the pieces sticking out from the bottom, I'm going to grab it like so. And tie it in a figure eight. And that's just going to let them hang the way I want it to. And where I want them to. Now normally when I tie this myself, um, I'll just uh, rotate the vise and I'll make it that uh, the strands are hanging down which is easier for me but in this case if I ro rotate the vise up you're not going to be able to see and there really is no right or wrong way to tie these in as long as you get them in and they're hanging down it's fine 
and you might have to do what I'm going to do now, and that's wet your fingers and, and pull this uh, rabbit hair forward because it gets pretty fluffy and it gets in the way. Okay, so now I bring my thread up after my legs are tied in. And now is when I'm going to start wrapping uh, this large shuck material. I'll get my legs and pull them forward. Lost one. There we go. Now we do the weave, trying to keep the legs separated and get all the wraps in. And there we have it. Just about done. You want to wrap this that it's right up tight against the head. And I keep moving this camera. There we go. Now, finish our wraps. And it doesn't matter if you trap a few of these uh, pieces of shuck material underneath. Um, because there's a lot of it. It gives you a nice little hairy body. A lot of movement in the water. You can get fancy with this. You can make uh, eyes that stick up. I don't. Um, I've done it before. But I think it's a, just as effective without it. And it's easier to tie. It's one less thing that I got to worry about getting tangled up. Because uh, with the wire weed guard in there, it's uh, you don't got as much room as you normally would without it. Now, I'm going to take my weed guard and I'm going to reposition it for optimum angle. And we're done. Let me get a good picture here to show you. So we have these nice long flash antenna. And the way this thing sits is, is unbelievable. Get away from that nasty light. There's the side view of it. Um, pretty easy to do. Not much to it. Very, very effective. Uh, I played with this last year uh, before I tied it and put it on, uh, on uh, YouTube here apologize for my terrible camera skills but um, like I said this is very a very effective little craw and it's it's very easy to tie I just make it look hard uh, give it a try let me know what you think thanks for watching